hi guys welcome to my youtube channel today i'm going to be making a basic bodice block which is going to have a bust art this is so i can use this block to make other things in the future these are the measurements that i'll be using for my bodice now i'm going to start off by drafting the back of my block already i have my shoulder line so on this shoulder line i'll be marking half of my shoulder width and then three inches which is from this measurement I made a one inch dip from the shoulder point downwards so I'm going to be connecting that one inch to my shoulder point and also from that one inch mark I'm going to be marking down my armhole measurement which is my bust measurement divided by six plus 1.5 inches and I'm going to be marking that same measurement all through so I can have a straight line this line is going to stand as my bust line Now my bust line, I'm going to be marking half of my shoulder measurement again so that I can have a straight line to connect to my shoulder. And back to my neck, I'm going to be marking one inch down to create my neck depth. Now from my neck depth point, I'm going to be marking my back length which I'm going to square towards my side seam. But well, first off, let me just connect my neck point and my neck depth. I'll also be marking a cut off my bust measurement on my bust line. Now I can square my waistline, which is my back length line. For my waistline, I'm going to be marking 9 inches, which is going to be my hip line. I'm going to square that line out. And on my hip line, I'm going to be marking a quarter of my hip measurement. I'll then connect my hip point and my bust point with a diagonal line. Now I'm going to be dividing my armhole measurement. This is so I can get my back line. I'm going to be extending this back line measurement all the way to the other side of my paper so that I can have that same marking on the front of my pattern. Next, I'm going to be marking inwards by half an inch on the back line measurement this is so i can create a curve for my armhole and then using my ruler i'm going to be connecting the 0.5 inch point to the tip of my shoulder and i'll be connecting that also to my bust measurement now for my waist shaping i'm going to start off by marking inwards on my waistline by 0.5 inch from the center back and i'll be connecting that to the bust line and then I'm going to also be marking inwards on the neckline by 0.5 inch also and using another curve I'm going to be curving that towards the center back line this is so I can have a nice smooth curve on my back since my back is not straight for my back that I'm going to be dividing my apex to apex measurement by 2 and then I'll be marking that number on my waistline my bust line and my hip line and I'll be joining all those points to create a straight line. This is going to serve as the midpoint of my dart. Now the width of my dart is 1 inch. So I'll be marking 0.5 inch on both sides of the dart. And then I'll be connecting it to the tip of the dart. Now downwards, I'm going to be marking 5 inches. Which I'll also be connecting from the waistline to that point. And to finish off my waist shaping, I'm going to be marking a quarter of my waist measurement, keeping in mind the one inch that I have for the dart. I'll be connecting this down to the hip with a curve and I'll be connecting it also to my bust line with another curve. And this is what my back bodice looks like. Please don't mind the CF, it's supposed to be a CB. Now for the front of my bodice, I'm going to start off by marking half of my shoulder measurement again and from that point, I'm going to be marking 1.5 inches downwards. 
I will then mark my neck point again which is 3 inches and I'm going to be connecting the two points together. Now to make sure both back and front shoulders align, I'm going to take the measurement of my back shoulder and that measurement I'm going to place on the front shoulder line. This is to make sure that they are perfectly aligned. I'll then mark half of my chest measurement on the chest line which is an extension of the back line. I'll then connect the shoulder points and the chest point but before I complete my armhole curve I'm going to measure a quarter of my bust measurement again but this time I will add half inch to that measurement and then I will complete my curve. Next I'll be marking my under bust point and I'm going to square that out followed by my bust point which I'll also square out. Now I'm going to measure the distance between my bust point and my under bust point and what I get I'm going to divide by 2. So this measurement I'm going to be using for my bust start, that's 1.25 inches, I'll be using it for my bust start. But first I'm going to be adding it to my back length measurement. Now I marked my waistline measurement 1 inch below my shoulder line so i'm going to add back that one inch making my 15 a 16 and then i'll add the 1.25 to get my front waistline so in total my front length measurement is going to be 17.25 and from that waistline i'm going to be marking down nine inches which is going to still serve as my hip line Now back to my bust point, I'm going to be marking my apex apex measurement again divided by 2. I'll be marking it on my waistline and my hip line to connect all points with a straight line. Now for my front dart, I'm going to be marking down 1 inch from my bust point. But before I finish off that, I'm going to be marking the quarter of my hip measurement plus half an inch to connect my bust point and my hip point. Now back to my dart. So the width of my front dart is going to be 1.5 inches. I'll be dividing that by 2 and then I'll connect all points with the tip of the dart. And downwards I'm going to be marking 5 inches which I'll also connect to my dart legs. I'll then mark a cutter of my waist measurement on the waistline keeping in mind my 1.5 inch for my dart. As you can see I've already connected my waistline to my hip with the curve. Now the next thing on the agenda is my bust start. So my 1.25 inch I'm going to be marking down from my bust line and then from the apex point I'm going to be marking in 1 inch also before I connect that point with the bust start. I really don't know why I put UBD there, it's supposed to just be BD there. Now before I connect my bust point to my waist, I'm going to close the bust dart first so that I can get a smooth finish. So I'm going to be folding this, folding the whole dart, closing it before I'll use my curve to connect my waist point to my bust point. Now if you have a tracing wheel, you can run it over the dart so that you can be able to finish off your dart leg appropriately. Now almost last and definitely not least, I'm going to be marking 4 inches downwards which is going to serve as my neck depth measurement. This is just me adding 1 inch to my neck point measurement.
so this is the front of my bodice you can use it for a dress you can use it for a long top you can use it for a jacket whatever you want to use it for but in case you want to use just the top part of the bodice you can just mark up 0.5 inch on the waistline on the side seam sorry you can mark up 0.5 inch and then take out that excess you can use that upper part of the bodice for a top a peplum top or another dress whichever way you want to do it and you apply the same thing to the back of the dress that is as a side seam of the back of my bodice and that's it for my basic vlog with the bust start make sure to like comment and subscribe to the channel thank you